Welcome to my video on volcanic hotspots. I hope you enjoy the video. Please like and subscribe. The origins of the concept of hotspots lie in the work of J. Tuzo Wilson, who postulated in 1963 that the formation of the Hawaiian Islands resulted from the slow movement of tectonic plates across a hot region beneath the surface. It was later postulated that hotspots are fed by narrow streams of hot mantle, rising from the Earth's core mantle boundary in a structure called a mantle plume. Whether or not such mantle plumes exist is the subject of major controversy in Earth science. Estimates for the number of hotspots post postulate to be fed by mantle plumes have ranged from about 20 to several thousand over the years, with most geologists considering a few tens to exist. Hawaii, Reunion, Yellowstone, Galapagos and Iceland are some of the most active volcanic regions to which the hypothesis is applied. Most hotspot volcanoes are basaltic. Examples are Hawaii and Tahiti. As a result, they are less explosive than subduction zone volcanoes, in which water is trapped under the overriding plates. Where hotspots occur in continental regions, basaltic magma rises through the continental crust, which melts to form rhyolites. These rhyolites can form violent eruptions, for example, the Yellowstone caldera was formed by some of the most powerful vo volcanic explosions in geologic history. However, when the rhyolite is completely erupted, it may be followed by eruption of basaltic magma rising through the same lith lithic ferrous fissures. An example of this activity is the Agachas Range in British Columbia, which was created by an early complex series of trachyte and rhyolite eruptions and late extrusion of sequence of basaltic lava flows. The hotspot hypothesis is now closely linked to the mantle plume hypothesis. Two million years ago, the island fell apart. 300 square miles, 20 trillion tons of rock dumped in the Pacific Ocean. That's why Oahu has an unusual shape. The rock slide really has taken a bite out of the island.